during this fifth trumpet, God releases the devil upon the earth with 200 million evil angels. So the devil and his evil angels will descend like a cloud. All right, in our study of the Great Tribulation timeline, we're going to move over here now to point six, which is sort of in the middle, lower part here. Point six. Well, if you think things couldn't get worse, they did, or they will. During the this uh, point six uh, time period here, things get worse after about two-thirds of the way into the 1,335 days of the Great Tribulation. This is when the fifth trumpet sounds. So believe it or not, Jesus is going to release the devil and 200 million evil angels from the spirit world, the abyss. And he's going to release them upon the world. So they're held today the devil and all of his angels are held today. They're restrained in the abyss. Now, the devil's influence is felt on the earth, but we don't actually see the devil, and he's not physically here with us. But during this fifth trumpet, God releases the devil upon the earth with 200 million evil angels. So the devil and his evil angels will descend like a cloud coming down out of the sky. He's going to impersonate the second coming of Jesus. Now, the devil is not able to be in multiple places at one time. So this impersonation of Jesus will be repeated in many places around the world. So he's going to come down with all 200 million angels, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be an unbelievable sight. So initially, the devil will be lamb-like, like Jesus. He's going to be sweet and merciful. He's going to look beautiful. There's not going to be any horns, and there's no tail. He's not going to have a red silk outfit on. None of that stuff you see in, uh, in comic books. He's going to look beautiful. He's going to sound beautiful. And he is going to come down onto an earth that has, been, has come through the first four trumpets that is devastated, that there's famine and people are hurting. And what is he going to do? He's going to encourage the survivors around the world and he's going to encourage the various religious groups to keep on enforcing the religious laws. He's going to supply food and help and medication. He's going to heal people all around the world. Let's read uh, Revelation 9, verses 1 to 14. Now, this is a little bit long, so kind of there's a lot of symbolic language here. So keep in mind what we're, what we're dealing with. We're dealing with the devil, and all 200 million of his angels are going to be coming down from the earth. So this is some symbolic language here that we're, we're going to be uh, reading. Okay, Revelation 9, verses 1 to 14. And then the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star from heaven, which had fallen to the earth. That's the devil. And the key to the bottomless pit was given to him. So the devil was given the key to unlock the abyss, to release the 200 million angels. So he opened the bottomless pit, and smoke rose up out of the pit. Now that smoke it really is all the angels flying around. In the distance, they look dark, and they look like smoke. And the sun and the air were darkened by the smoke of the pit, and out of the smoke came locusts upon the earth, and the power was given to them as scorpions of the earth have power. Well, these locusts, if you ever saw locusts in, in the Far East especially, they just fly around. Well, these angels have wings, and these angels are going to be flying down. They're going to be very large, physically large, 
maybe 10, 12, 14 feet tall, and uh, they will be flying around, and they will have a great amount of power that we, we cannot uh, defeat. The, the power they have will be, it says here, like the sting of a scorpion. So they can inflict pain upon people. And it says the smoke came, came, then out of the smoke came locusts upon the earth, and the power was given them as scorpions of the earth have power. They were told not to hurt the grass of the earth or any green thing or any tree, but only one group of people. Now, listen to this. They were only allowed to hurt the men who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. You know, God is going to separate the, the sheep from the goats, and he's going to seal those that he separates that are his. So if you don't have the seal of God on your forehead, these evil angels can hurt you. And this is the time that they will be, be able to hurt you. And they were not permitted to kill anyone. So during this period of time, even though the, they have the power to kill, no one will be killed, either the saints or the wicked. They won't be killed, but the wicked people will be tormented by these evil angels for five months. And their torment was that like that of a scorpion when it stings a man. And in those days, men will seek death and will not find it. They will long to die, but death will flee from them. So this is going to be horrible, horrible painful things. So what is behind all this? Why is the devil doing this? Well, the devil is going to tell them that if they accept the devil and be, pay allegiance to the devil, this pain will immediately go away. So on one side, if they accept the devil, it will go away. On the other side, God is saying, that if you accept the offer of salvation that Jesus is offering you, the pain will also go away. So in either case, the devil and God are fighting for these people that are on the fence. The devil wants them and God wants them. So the appearance of the locust was like horses prepared for battle and on their uh, heads appeared to be crowns like gold and their faces were like faces of men they had hair like hair of women, and their teeth were like teeth of lions, and they had breastplates like breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was like the sound of chariots of many horses rushing to battle. They had tails like scorpions and stings, and in their tails is the power to hurt men for five months, and they have a king over them. Now, who do you think the king is over all these 200 million evil angels? It's the devil, of course says they have a king over them, the angel of the abyss, angel of the abyss. And his name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in Greek it's Apollyon. So here's two different names for the devil. And the devil is the one that is directing these 200 evil angels. Now we read in 2 Corinthians 11 to 14, says marvel, uh, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. So this is where this happens. This is where the where the Satan or the devil is going to be transformed into an angel of light. It's when he comes down from heaven, as we read in Revelation 9, when the, when the devil comes down out of the sky with all his 200 million angels, He's going to look like what? Like an angel of light. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Study your Bible and you'll know what's going on here.